Hey YouTube, what up? This is Brian Easy coming back to you guys today with a overclock tutorial. And it's not just any overclock tutorial, guys. This is a motherboard overclock tutorial or a B clock. Okay, so there's an option in your BIOS called BCLK, which stands for base clock. And before we do that, guys, we're going to need two programs. Okay, just two today. So we're going to need Prime 95, that's a stress testing program. I love it. And it really puts the heat on your CPU. And Real Temp. So, Real Temp. That's uh, it's a really good program. So, you, I will give you guys both. I'll give you guys the links in the description below. You can check them out. So let's get into it, guys. This is a really quick, uh, quick tutorial today. So it's really easy to do this, guys. But you got to be very careful in how you execute this, okay? Because if you overclock your motherboard too much, you can pretty much, you know, quickly damage either your motherboard or your hard drives or your RAM whichever the first to go is. So today we're going to do as always with my overclocks, they're pretty safe. So we're just going to use some safe settings. Okay. So here it is guys, this setting here. Okay. So it's called the B clock. Okay. So B L C K B C L K and it's called, it's just basically, it's the frequency in which the motherboard runs at. So it runs everything. So when you do this guys, you are going to be overclocking everything on your computer, your GPU, your CPU, your hard drives, your RAM, everything's going to get basically a 2% boost. So now I'm just going to go for 2% today. Obviously I'd say about 3% would be fine as well, but me, I like to be always super safe. So 2% is good for me. So yes, I am running now. I have been playing games for a long time and actually stress testing is different to gaming. So I found I had to up my voltage another 0.1, I oh know 0.01 for my stable 4.2 overclock. Anyway, so we're ready to go guys. So let's just last double check that. We have B clock at 102 guys. So save and exit changes. And basically what we're running now is a 2% overclock on everything. So now you've got to be very careful. And the reason why I'm doing this guide now is because of the weather, okay? So it's getting cooler and you know it's it's you basically it's a stress it's a it really stresses your motherboard and the two things to look out for is your motherboard and your hard drives because you know usually your ram's got you know heat sinks on it and this is another reason why people buy good motherboards guys is because they can overclock their motherboards to maybe five percent uh you know five i wouldn't go over five percent to be honest i wouldn't go over 105 and then you're getting pretty you know you're getting pretty dangerous after that, but 102 is definitely achievable on any motherboard, pretty much, except maybe the real cheap motherboards. So the motherboard I'm using, guys, is the Z77 Extreme 4. So here it is, guys. It's a really good motherboard. It's a budget king. I did a review on it. I'll put that in the description below. And basically, it's got some good. It's got some good heat sinks on it, and it can overclock a little bit. So anyway, let's go. Let's have a look now. So we'll open up Real Temp and we will check real temp so there's real temp and your halt state will work your cpu halt state should still work so we're going to do maximum heat guys power consumption and some ram tested so let's get that going now uh, let's just put that in the thing okay so here's real temp guys so now we're see as we as we can see here we're going up to uh, basically 4,283 megahertz. So as I said before, everything is getting overclocked this time around, okay? So basically if you want to go higher, you can, but I seriously don't recommend it. Uh, you know, the reason why, guys, I recommend safe overclocks is because, you know, especially for me, I'm a clumsy person. So, you know, when I was uh, about two and a half years ago, I had my Q9550 and I overclocked my real old graphics car. I, I did basically, you know, had a bad overclock. Well, not a bad overclock, it was just a high overclock. And I left my computer on. I thought I turned it off, but it was still running a game. So I was still running a game and I left. It was really hot summer's day. And basically I came back and my video card was shot. So that's, you know, you got to be careful with overclocks. So, you know, I'm protecting, my, I'm protecting myself from myself, basically, with this you know, with safe levels. So anyway, guys, I hope this has in, sort of enlightened you today. Uh, be very careful with this, guys. It's extremely sensitive overclock. So, you know, for me, I'm only going at 2%. I wouldn't, you know, to be honest, it's a safe level. I wouldn't recommend any higher, to be honest. Um, you know, 102, 2% is fine, guys, because it does overclock everything. So 
Anyway, I hope this I hope this has helped you guys today. And if you've got any comments, please comment in the comment section below, or you can send me a message personally, and I'll reply as soon as I can. And yeah, guys. So basically, you, the you know the reason behind people buying better or more expensive motherboards is this is one of the reasons is because of this uh, B clock uh, setting. You know, on a really good motherboard, you five percent would probably be safe day in day out. Probably be a safe level. So you know, extreme fours at a good level. It can do a little bit. So, but you know, I feel safe at two percent. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. So. Anyway guys, so there we go, we got a good overclock with another 83 megahertz out of our processor for nothing. And not to mention our graphics card is going to run a little bit faster, everything's going to be cool. So, there you go guys, I hope this has helped you out today, and yeah, peace out, bro and easy.